Larry's an incredibly inspiring leader. He's a collaborative leader. He's also someone who truly uh, leads by example. Larry Backow comes in and is able to articulate this vision that a university has to educate students, you know, about their responsibility to the rest of the world. You can tell that he believes that to lead is, is to be personally invested. And when you are connected to the world like that, you care and you'll do things. And I think that's how he leads the Tufts community. I don't think universities should be ivory towers. I don't think they should be removed from their communities, their surroundings. And so it, we need to be good citizens, uh, not just good citizens individually, we need to be good citizens institutionally. And we've worked hard at that. The Somerville Homeless Coalition has had this incredible relationship with Tufts and especially with Tufts students since we started in 1985. Uh, when we opened, there were two paid staff people. Everybody else was a volunteer. Most of them were Tufts students. We really have benefited from this relationship because, you know, we're a small agency with not a lot of capacity. So we have these students who are incredibly intelligent coming in and doing research for us. They're crunching numbers. They're able to analyze data and think of things that I would certainly never be able to think of. What Larry Backow says uh, to Tufts students and to Tufts faculty is you can make a difference uh, with your lives. He says to students, you don't need to wait until you graduate in order to be an active citizen and agent of change. So it was really important to me to do something in Somerville and feel invested here. So I interned at the Homeless Coalition as kind of a liaison for a research project that we're working on regarding food insecurity in Somerville because we found the connection between food insecurity and housing insecurity to be pretty connected. 25 years ago, uh, we all thought that we could solve this easily, you know, and in fact, homelessness is worse now than it was 25 years ago. So we had a 20% increase at the food pantries this year. That was on top of an even larger increase last year. Though those increases are not sustainable. One way of, of measuring the justness of a society is how it treats the most vulnerable among us. And uh, that is what the homeless coalition does. So I think it's important that, that we reach out, uh, that we don't turn a blind eye, uh, that we try and engage, uh, and that we try and help. And I'm proud of what the university has been able to, to do to support the Somerville Homeless Coalition. When Larry Backow became president of Tufts 10 years ago, community service was already uh, an important part of the traditions and the mission of Tufts University. In the past decade, uh, he's raised up that mission, he's elevated it to a wholly new uh, level. Every year the Leonard Carmichael Society, our, our student service organization on campus, sponsors an event called Faculty Waits on You, in which uh, faculty and staff contribute things um, that are then auctioned off um, at a dinner where faculty and staff serve the students. And this event raises a significant amount of money, um, almost all of which goes to benefit actually the Somerville Homeless Coalition. We have students who volunteer in our food pantries and our shelters. They do food drives for us. Last Thanksgiving, we got 100 turkeys from the fraternities and sororities at Tufts. I'm a runner. Uh, the Somerville Homeless Coalition Road Race is something that Adele and I have run in regularly. Um, I lead something called the President's Marathon Challenge team at Tufts, and so the PMC has tried to support uh, the Homeless Coalition race, and it's another way in which I think the university tries to support uh, the good work that's being done by the Somerville Homeless Coalition. In most colleges and universities, you see that kind of activity being done by a middle level administrator. At Tufts, under Larry Backow's leadership, it's a personal leadership act by him. It sends an incredibly strong signal. 
And it's not something he wrote a memo about or ran a strategic plan to recommend. He got out there, he put on his running shorts uh, and does it himself. So to me, that's a, a symbol of, of walking the talk or running the talk. I think that we all, as a community, owe a lot to President Bacow, to Tish and to Dean Hollister for the leadership that they've exhibited over these last 10 years. It's been one of the joys of the job to be able to work with, with people who want to make a difference, whether or not it's our students who are working in the community, our faculty who volunteer their time. I think what we do is that we create social capital. Um, we create individuals who understand that it's their responsibility uh, to make a difference. I think that President Bacow has made a difference in showing that to me and to um, a lot of other people who wouldn't have seen it otherwise and, and that will just keep paying it forward. Leading this community with the message that you should be involved and you should be engaged and, and it's a duty and a privilege to do so, I think has changed a lot of minds and, and has made sure that the Tufts community is basically raising students who will go out and keep learning and keep serving and, and I think that's a really powerful thing.